All right. So, what do we got quest-wise? Uh, that's right, I'm supposed to speak to the commander. Let's jump. Uh, where is he at? What is he used to be? Yeah, he's right here still. You've done well. Nice clearing out the camp. I knew you'd come through, and now we're finally ready. The Pookie Pookie Hunt is on! If targeted at Scholars, we'll get a closer look. How vital it is to take it out. This could be the break we've been waiting for. Good luck and be careful. The fifth has an urgent mission. Partner, you'd better come see me. Hey there. Ha. <laughs> uh, capturing monsters is more for research purposes. If you go uh, over this way. Or, yeah, this guy. If you talk to this guy, sense of smell, blah, blah, blah. You can see, you can up update stuff. Um, and your research levels, like, so for example this, this is at level 1. So, my field guide's level 2, my scout fi bonus is level 1. When it levels up, I get material info added, more scout fi bonus, point bonus level up. Uh, and basically, capturing monsters will level these up much, much faster as opposed to just killing them. But at the same time, by killing a monster, you can carve it, and you can get the materials. So it's really a question of, you know, are you are you trying to get resources at the moment or are you trying to get materials? Because they are both expensive. Working hard? They're not expensive, they're both necessary. Chief asked me to rustle up some ingredients. I've still got so much eating to do. Good luck. What the hell, dude? Oh, I'm, the chef wants me to get some food. Oh, I already have moss wine hide. I can turn that right in. I think I have to bring it to this guy, lazy ass. <laughs> Alright, handler, let's go. Hey there, partner. It's fungal flexin in the ancient forest. 20 gourmet shroom caps, but the heads with nature, so seven jagras. Great glutton did that, camp crasher did that. Urgent, pookie pookie hunt. Reward money, 2500. Okay, it's usually there. I'll save on to my first voucher for now. How do you feel about Horizon Zero Dawn DLC being on a time limit? I don't know, it makes sense. My total time playing this game? Um, I don't know, will it say on the PlayStation menu? You see, it should say like X hours played or something here. I don't know, well let's see, what's the stream at? Stream is at 2 hours and 44 minutes, so about that. Like two hours and forty four minutes in. Taking a while to prepare the quest though. Um please wait until the quest is loaded. Shadow of Colossus is coming. I just gotta I gotta get through my my monster hunter addiction, and then it'll it'll happen. All right, urgent quest. Uh, do I have vouchers? I have one. I'll save that. Points, fifty points. Back up. Up, up. How many points does this cost? 
Oh, yeah, 2,000 points? Yeah, dude, pay with the points. Oh, time! Head armor. Yeah, now that I got that skull thing, I look like a badass. Definitely put it on. Alright. Okay, it's usually right around here. Got herbal medicine. Already on the trail. This way. Yes, what do you want? I'm trying to hunt things. He usually leaves his spawn and go oh he's right here. Okay. Ah. The monster's running away. Use the scout flies as a guide and they'll lead you right to him. He ain't going nowhere. You don't mind if I shove this switch axe in your head, right? Probably remount him again. I seem to get up the hill a little bit. I, want, I really wanted to do the affinity slide. Yeah, I know. I, I cut his tail off already. Do you have to... I don't think you carve it. Oh, you do carve it separately. Good call. Come here, Pooge.
This thing wants nothing to do with me, dude. Please stop! Fucking smashed, dude. God damn. Puke just got a uh, just oh, that was brutal. Yes, the boss was extremely difficult for me. As you saw there. Vestoids, whatever. Exhaust files seem to be working pretty well, though. Like, he got tired so fast. I basically opened on him, and he was just like, Fuck, please leave me alone, I can't, I can't fight. No, these are the normal monsters. These are normal monsters. The big thing is, like, when you know what you're doing with the switch axe, you do ridiculous damage. Like, you just, you tear through monsters so incredibly fast with this weapon. Can you explain different file types? Um, files, in a sense, it, it applies an effect to your weapon. So just like with dual swords, dual swords are commonly known for having different elements. Like, you would have a pair of dual swords to do water damage. You would have a pair for lightning damage, a pair for fire damage. Um, You've done file well. types can boost different aspects of your weapon. So you could have, like, a power file, which is just raw, unadulterated damage into your opponent. You could have right. um, impact files, which are going to be better Make for sure you know knocking the enemy out, getting them on the so ground faster. Uh, if you go, let me see, I, want, I think there, I might be able to pull up a full list of file types somewhere. Let's see. Probably in inventory, item pouch, equipment info. Sax, skill info. Let's see. I'm trying to think if I can go over. Let me just pull up a list. File types. Alright, so we have elemental files. We have power files. Elemental files increase the amount of elemental damage. Power files increase the raw damage. Dragon files will add dragon element. Para files will add paralysis element. Um... Exhaust is not shown. Exhaust makes them tired faster, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it drains the monster's stamina and deals a very tiny bit of KO damage when hitting the head. So using that is basically why we are able to get the, the, the monster tired so quickly. Mushrooms. Now let me pick up a quest. Uh, I want to do the the one real fast. Twenty gourmet shroom caps. Let's go solo. I don't think many people are going to join in on that. It's always good to do the quests for the cooks. I already turned in stuff, Jimmy. As soon as I, when I talked to these people right here at the start, I turned in all that stuff I had collected. Was Dual Blade with Paralysis still OP? I mean, I'd assume so. I know there's a, uh, there are diminishing returns though. So 
I know it takes more and more. I mean, in the beta at least, when we were doing a, uh, a four-man hunt where we were all using paralysis hammers, that was silly. Like, that was, it was non-stop paralysis. Like, as soon as the internal cooldown on paralysis disappeared, we were able to paralyze. But we were able to paralyze. We were able to paralyze people again. It was just really, really kind of, uh, I don't know. It almost felt bad. All right. Let's gather the delivered automatically. Deliver the required items. Special items other than those are converted into zenny. Your goal on this quest is to obtain and deliver some materials. Step one, go find some. Could always kill a great jogger swam here. But the goal is mushrooms. We need to find mushrooms. Looking for mushrooms. Has anybody seen any mushrooms lately? Honey is always good to get. Snatch that up. Great Jagras is here. I'll just go. Yeah, let me take care of him real fast. I love this blade though. It, like, it makes it look like it's like a giant switch axe lightsaber. You thought I wasn't gonna mount you, did you? Well, you was wrong. Give me your face. Give me, give me the face. I might wanna make a charge blade with your skin. I thought I dodged that. Oh, good eye, he's eating me! He's eating me! I burned through so much durability hitting him and the little Jagrises. Yo, your accuracy sucks, dude. Probably kill Anjanath on this quest too, but I know about the slide bonus. I was trying to get it right at the start there, where I ran around, but that slope wasn't high enough to pull it off. Some pawns. All right, where did you go? Oh, what the hell? It's below me. Is he in his nest? I think he. I think he backed out and tried to go to his nest. No oh, scout flies are saying go this way, huh?
relaxing. What the fuck, man? I was just napping. I don't know how expensive ammo is. I haven't, um, I haven't looked into it at all yet. Claw, main, and claw. All right, back to back on task here. Uh, gourmet shroom caps. Just gotta wander around. Wander around and find some gourmet. The only thing is, I don't know what qualifies something as a gourmet shroom cap. I've seen a lot of shroom caps. Like, I'm playing on, like, any shrooms I see, I'm just gonna pick them up, but... It's kinda cool to see this map all, like, rainy and wet, though. Because throughout the beta, you know, it's always, always sunny. Every time you played here, it was sunny. one of these little guys as a pet. Shit, I missed. Go. Where'd it go? Key spawn point? I'll head over that way soon. I want one of the little flying squirrel monkey things. Keep it as a pet. You can hide helmet, but given how badass my helmet looks, I don't want to hide it. Alright. Hey, there's a Puke here again. Do I want more Puke materials? I think I want more Puke materials. Oh shit, I did not mean to Superman. Oh shit, Anjanath is here too. Listen man, I'm not here to fight you, I'm just here to fight the Puke. Oh fuck, he hurts. I mean, I, I probably could take him, but 
That's still... I don't know. Man, my health is not very high, you know? It's one of those, like, I'm not sure if I want to tackle you right now type deals. He's still here. He wants me. He wants me. Alright. You want some? Fucking come get it then, asshole! I'm gonna cut your tail off too! I bet your tail is all kinds of good materials. I just wanted to fight the Puka, and you gotta come getting in my way! Oh shit! Shit! Oh boy! I need, uh. Not what I wanted to do. Come on, come over here so I can jump back on you. Come on this way. Come on. Over here, over here, come on. Stupid T Rex looking motherfucker. Alright, he's running. He's running like the bitch he is. Alright, now back to what I was trying to do. I came here for some gourmet shroom caps. I see no gourmet shroom caps yet. Oh, here we go. These look these look promising. Perfect. You've got the materials you need. I'll mark where you found these on the wildlife map. I'll probably kill the Puke just to get his materials. If anything wanders over here, whether it's on Janath or... I mean, this is only... I'm not really like... I, I didn't come on this hunt to find on Janath. I'll have a hunt for him soon enough. I came to loot this area. Puke happened to be here. Okay, I'll beat Puke down. Puke comes back. I'll take it out. But my goal here. is to get mushrooms. It's important because on every, every single mission you do on Monster Hunter. You could... Um, you know, every single mission, you could hunt every monster that's on the map if you wanted. Even though I'm here for mushrooms, I could go after Anjanath and go after Puke and go after Great Joggers. But if you do all that, you know, sooner or later, you're going to just be sitting there and you're going to be like, wait a minute, what did I come here for? The fact is, you got to remember your quest. Got to remember your quest. Uh, unique mushroom colony. Unique mushroom colony. Colony's job. Find trap. Bug trappers. Now taking a nap from getting his ass whooped on. They just show up as like a question mark though. Be nice if I could sort the map out, like remove everything that isn't what I'm looking for. So there's one way out there though. Like this is gonna be, well, it's kind of on the way to Puke. I'll go take down Puke real fast, and then I'll grab the mushrooms that are over there. Yeah, I keep walking. 
nothing to do with this hunter. Look top right when you're on your map. What talking about. Alright, filter icons with L1, R1? Oh, yeah. Perhaps environmental, endemic life. Nice. I was looking at the actual map. I was like, what are you talking about? But well, that makes sense now. Bunch of those mushrooms. The sliding effect lasts a while. Wow, look at that. Let me go back up that, uh, So watch the top of the UI. See how long this buff lasts. Still up. That's that's not short. That's like at least 15 seconds of 30% critical hit rate. That is definitely nothing to overlook. Solid. That's why there it is. You're gonna need a lot more than that to really start streaming, Judicator. I mean, need a headset. You need the right hardware, you need the right software, it's not... Now, could you stream? Yeah, if you want, if you expect your stream to be any level of quality, it's gonna take way more than just a $50 headset and... run-of-the-mill laptop. Now, not to, like, destroy dreams here or anything, but... I'm trying to keep it real for you. Mushrooms are for a quest for the cooks. Uh, main reason I'm doing them is getting the quest done. The cooks will give me a voucher, which allows me to double my money reward from the next quest I do. Since I'm coming up on an Anjanath quest fairly soon, that'll probably be worth uh, a couple thousand. I would guess at least five to ten thousand. I'll be able to double that for a big boost of money starting out. And in general, it's, at least if, it, if this works anything like the previous games, when the cooking people have quests, you do the cooking people. Because cooking is king in this game. If the cook's got something that they want done, I'm going to do it. Because they're going to be like, oh, thanks for doing that. Now I can make this super badass recipe for you that makes it so that when the monster roars, you're immune to it. Or like triples your attack damage, or makes it so that you're immune to poison. Always help the cooks. One more, one more, one more. Just one at. Those respawn? Maybe they might have respawned. Looks like Puke also came back to get his ass whooped. Wow, 
I see, Pooh. He's trying to escape. I wonder what happens if the monster reaches the escape destination while somebody's fighting it. Back here, where are you going, dude? He's like, I didn't want this. I'm taking your tail with me. It's definitely, I like that now you gotta actually like know, like you gotta learn the monsters so they won't just throw you off. On the beta, it just gave you like happy time prompts every time, like. Press, press right trigger, press right trigger, like you didn't even have to think about it. I told you I was gonna take your tail off. Come and get me. Come and get me. Where does he think he's going? At this point, I might as well kill him. Get the parts. I thought you retreated. What are you doing back here? Unjanath's showing back up like, yeah, I decided I'd come out. You break off their wings? Um... Not these monsters, at least. A lot of people are assuming, emphasis on assuming, that you'll be able to break the wings off of the, the zombie dragon, but at this point, it's it's all just, you know, guesses. There's no confirmation that you'll be able to break the wings on anything. Any specific monster you're looking forward to fighting in the late game? Zombie dragon? Definitely zombie dragon. Right, some bouquet parts. Thank you, Mr. Vigor Wasp.
All right, now let's go get the rest of our mushrooms and we'll make our way out of here. It looks like they do respawn, that's convenient. It's a lot easier because the rest of these were spread out all over the place. We're gonna get Anja's corpse, don't worry, he's coming up soon. How do you get that axe? This axe is the great Jagras variant. So it's taking the regular axe, the one you start with, upgrading it to level 2, and then upgrading it to Jagras. And yes, I'll be making YouTube guides for this. More than likely, um, instead of doing a Let's Play, since we're streaming it, uh, I'll end up doing hunt guides. Like, when you're hunting a Puke, where you want to, you know, what you want to look out for, what you want to focus on. When you're hunting this, what you're looking for, what you want to focus on. Stuff like that. Cats are swarming me. 5.30. And they're like, feed us now! So now we need to protect the scholars. Let's regroup at the Wildspire Waste. Oh, you're here. All right, I got some new bounties. Honey, um, insects five times, mining on crops. Let me grab. These are just constant research points and armor spheres, which is really nice. I don't remember having um this many. Like, armor spheres feel extremely plentiful this time around. Anjanath pelt required one monster bone large. So basically, once I kill my first Anjanath, I'll be able to do that. Um, let's go by blacksmith. I want to see if I have... The new materials I've gathered, what we're looking at in terms of new stuff. Oh. Puke, spore puff expert, item prolonger, poison resistance, poison attack, botanist. One extra consumable herb item per gather. That sounds really useful. Jogger strong arm. Impact files. Let me see what, uh... Earth crystals for 350, power file type. Power file type, it's probably a water file, elemental stuff. Development, oh, I can't wait. Kudayaku. Fair amount of sharpness. The Pookie Pookie tree. Oh man, a poison lance would probably be freaking dirty. With all the pokes you do, stuff would be constantly poisoned.
this, so this has a Jagras variant. Which looks pretty badass. How do I, uh... I mean, even though you can preview it, you have the damn thing in the way. There we go. That looks pretty slick. Uh, let's see, what else I want to look at? Rending beaks. No element on them, no element on them, no element. Water, fire. It's like until you start getting the elements on dual swords, they're kind of meh. <coughs> Do I want to upgrade these? Armor Sphere Plus. If I was to upgrade anything, it'd probably be the attack boost. Maximum upgrade reached. Is it worth it? It'll put my defense up to 16 from 6. Hmm. They are fairly plentiful. Multiple weapons of the same class? Yeah, you can. Like right now, I have, um, you know, I have the Jagras axe, and then I also have the bone axe, because different weapons will go down different paths. So, like the bone axe, you can take the bone axe and turn it into to this, or alternatively, you can turn it into this, or turn it into this. Whereas these upgrades, these three rows right here, they all come from the ore tree, so it's different weapon trees. So. Different weapon trees, different bonuses. Oh, that's right. Did I just auto complete that? That's good. What's the reward? That was just money. All right, the best kind of quest, hunter rank three or higher. I would not have two characters. Two characters means replaying through all this stuff. I want to have one character who's pimped out. You buy things of different upgrade paths if you have the materials, or do you have to forge everything at least once? Um, well, it's it's like a ladder. So if you like, if you're going down a top upgrade path, and you want to go down the bottom, you need to revert your weapon and then go down the bottom. But apparently they changed it in this game, and if you go back, you get the materials that you used. They're returned to you. So if you like go all the way down one path and it's not working out, you can pretty easily um, jump to a second path. Can make a guts build with great sword. Come on, buddy. As slow as you swing the great sword, there's nothing guts about it. You can buy base weapons to have seven different switch axes if you want. But you'd honestly be better off just crafting them. I don't know why you would waste your time buying them. Excited to grab the loot. Guide us there safely, partner. Yep, I'm here to guide. Please follow me. Uh, 
I will kill whatever we run into. One thing's for sure. The environment here is completely different from the ancient forest. Oh, you think, Handler? Yes. The Wildspire Waste features a mixture of dry land and swamps, which naturally supports its own unique ecosystem. The water filters down through the sand and collects in the lower areas, thus creating a mire. Oh, great. We get to go uphill now. Oh. Come on now, my dear handler. Put your back in it. Even in Monster Hunter, escort quests suck. I hate escort quests so much. You think they would have like a a donkey or something to help? No, nope, they're just pushing this thing around. And it's only made funnier by the fact that like I'm I'm the the big you know I'm the dude that's strong enough to go and hunt monsters and instead I'm just running around picking plants. While the handler and then these two like little midget old men are busy pushing the cart. The fruit scattered throughout the area has a hard shell that helps retain moisture. What weapon do you recommend for a first time Monster Hunter player? Uh, Longsword is really easy to pick up. Um, dual Blades are also pretty easy to pick up. Um, sword and Shield gives you, it's, it's pretty easy. Because a lot of the weapons you get, like you basically get locked in as you're, you're attacking. Like you have a set position. And so you need to either constantly reposition yourself or basically know exactly where you're supposed to be before things start. So, because of that, going for something like the, uh, the long sword gives you a little bit more freedom in your movements. Like, it'll, it'll go where you're aiming versus just where you, uh, where you've swinged. Like, with the switch axe, for example, when I swing, it's going directly in front of me. If I mess up my angle, I'm just whiffing. Where with close to us, part. doing something like um, doing something like the uh, long sword that's Look, not the, the case wildfire. that's where we'll find what we came for but we still have a ways to go well on we go come on scholar I haven't attempted the event quest yet but Actually, I'm assuming it's a couple levels at least These little guys are about to get run over by this cart. Can I like climb the cart? This <laughs> is just sitting it. Push me ahead. So I'm getting lots of tough skinned fruit. What was that? Everyone, be careful. There's no way I can take down a Rathian this early in the game. And run for your life! Go, 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 just move on through. You might be able to use your slinger to create some kind of noise and distract her. Push the freaking cart! God, dude, I'm not. There's no. If I can't beat an Anjanath yet, there is zero chance of taking down a Rathian. Give me the booty, I want the booty. Oh, your character doesn't talk. Have no fury like a 
Well, like any Rathian, <laughs> actually. But she could provide the Commission with valuable data. Hunter, I couldn't trouble you for a sample, could I? Sample like what? You want me to cut off that thing's tail? See how mean she was? Come on, man. Just a sample hunter. I was aware that Zora Magros was an enormous beast, but I am in shock over how gargantuan it really is. Yes. It certainly seems to exceed the measurements in all the guild's writings. I wonder, how many years does it take for a beast like this to grow to such an enormous size? Everything is running from something. Oh look, Absaros! An herbivore native to this region! I like how they're going in the exact direction Glorious. that the it giant armored dinosaurs just came running from. What a magnificent specimen. It's weaker what, what than Anja, so it's essentially a more aggressive Puke? What, the Raytheon? Come on, dude, no way. Raytheon weaker than Anja not? Zora Magdaros has left for us. What do you guys think the, uh, what's the over-under on Diablo's popping out? It's a big old lava turd. Bear off. That's what everything was running from was a bear off. You want some good loving? I'm gonna give it to you. The scholars are still in danger. You have to take down that barrel. Oh, I'll take it down, all right. Don't you worry about that. I'll keep the scholars out of harm's way. Boom, baby! Critical bonus! Gonna cut your tail off. I'm gonna fall off this thing for sure. Maybe not. I have no stamina. How am I holding on to this? Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, that's gonna hurt, but you whiffed it. You whiffed it. Down here so that I can get a proper slide off. Oh god, that hurt. Oh, 
Oh, wasn't enough to get my slide bonus. Hang on, let me just do this. Ten seconds? I think it's longer than that. positions right on top of them. Shit! Oh god, that hurt. I should not have swung. For the uh thanks for that yeah better hope to not get gore that's exactly the kind of uh wonderful verbal support that i hope for my partner better watch out or you're gonna get gored I think I just need to give up on mounting him and focus on taking down his legs. Oh no, not the doo-doo piles. That looks like I spoke too soon because I mounted him! Oh shit, he did a second one, but it doesn't matter! I'm gonna cut your tail off. You don't know you do not when I climb I stay up Oh shit no I see so you can use I never actually saw the effects of that in the beta He's using the mud to harden his tail. No, never mind. That's just my shit being damaged, I think. That's a thorn pot, a powerful type of slinger ammo. Attacking the part it's latched onto deals blunt damage. That sounds pretty cool. 
So basically, you put a bunch of these in his face and then knock him out with it. No, 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 there's a god bud here! Don't attack me, I want- No, the god bug! Come on, man! You know how hard it is to find those things? Stamina. Wow. Ah, oh, it's too far. No, he has to be scaled down. Because this is a joke. Either that or exhaust files are just really fucking good. I mean, we didn't get to play with exhaust files at all in the beta, but this is silly. Sidestep. I really need uh I need better evasion. No shit dude no 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 That sidestep was delicious! I know, I really wanted the tail. I didn't expect him to get exhausted so fast, though. Like, I mean... Thinking back to the beta, we usually didn't exhaust Baroths that fast. But I have been using a different attack combo from what I usually use, so, um... I don't know how many of you guys know Project War. He did, like, a lot of stuff with Neo, like... Neo damage tests and whatnot, and he did, uh... Switch Axe testing to figure out basically like figuring out the combos putting it on a clock and determining what the top damage is and that's what you've been seeing me do it's uh like circle triple triangle just rinse and repeat and the damage output of it is apparently insane because i've been taking down monsters way faster than i was back in beta oh hey glad you're back oh don't worry I found a safe place for the scholars to hide. I guess I'll go round them up. <laughs> Wait for us back at camp. He's like, yeah. Get my D soon. You there. Are you part of the fifth fleet? Then that means the Elder Crossing is upon us again. Huh? Who's this dude? The years fly by faster. 
Then I can count them. I too am a hunter. Of the first belief. Might I trouble you to share your tale with me? Let's find a suitable place. Mysterious entrance. So, my old friends are well. Praise be. It sounds like the good scholars are as incorrigible as ever. Might I ask, are you tracking the monster that dropped that massive slag? Yes. I as well. It seems so easy. Follow the trail, find the truth. Well, it has been a pleasure. Nearby you will find my camp. I trust it will be of some avail to you and the others. Please pass a message on to the commander that I am safe. But you never told me your name. It compels me on, and I intend to see where it takes me. If you too feel so compelled, then we will cross paths again at the end of all of this. Bye, mystery man. She's like, who is that? They just chained up a giant lava rock on a wooden cart. How does that work? What the fuck? Get down, cat. Get down. Princess, get down. Damn. Best kind of quest. Monsters do not have health bars on them. I'm gonna report to the ecological team. You ate your food and just left? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, some guy told me to tell you he was fine. Who was it? Um, just this dude. He didn't give me a name. Good to see you. Okay. I hate how they just like have like a couple of sound bits. Okay, good to see you. Head to the wild spar waste immediately. Okay, Commander. just up and goes and vanishes. He'll come back when he's ready. Treating this guy like he's a stray cat. They're just like, oh yeah, he'll come around to eat from time to time, but you know, we try to follow him. He gets all pissed off, so just let him be. Okay, game. Alright, now that I got some bear Roth parts, let's see. Bear Roth tree! Okay, paralysis on a switch X. Oh, lordy, lordy. Do I have the parts for it? No, I need one more Baroth shell. Attack at 420 has crap for sharpness. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Want to take this and. Oh, no, hang on. I want to take this and confirm and then hit compare. So, compare to Therapist Axe. 
paralysis versus exhaust. It has a much higher modifier. The affinity goes down. I have a defensive bonus caked into it, and it has more damage. Yep, I think we're going to have to go get one of those. I saw the negative affinity. Look at the Gundam slash Baroth armor. Hello, armor. In the proof. Wait, is that what I think it is? Minor wind pressure. Negates minor wind pressure. Reduces the effects of negates minor and major wind pressure. So I would need level 5 to really make it worth it. Um, nothing on it. Water resistance, defensive boost, poison resistance, speed sharpening. Stun resistance, muck resistance, marathon runner. Stamina thief. Ooh. Extra exhaust power. And then guard. Baroth man! Okay. Alloy. Jagras looks cool. Can I forge some better Palico things yet? I'm Bonehelm, Jagras, Kulu stuff, Pookie stuff. Baroth Mace. So, charm affinity. Affinity is something I never got behind. Ugh. <sighs> So, minus 20% affinity means it has like a 20% less chance to critical hit, basically, right? Oh no, affinity is chance to deal more. A positive affinity means attacks have a percentage chance to use 125 attack power, while negative affinity is a chance to use 75% attack power. Huh. So, negative affinity actually kind of blows. And the armor looks so funny, dude. I kind of want to make him some stuff just to, to upgrade him. Give him more D. Like, he loses all of his elemental stuff. But, uh... Defense. Like, what do I have on right now? 2200. Going to... Oh, I get negatives with that. You want a Puke bow? <laughs> it looks so silly. <laughs> Oh, affinity is it's a chance. It's not a guarantee. Oh, hang on. I got to go uh, turn in my research. I haven't done that in a while. Seven Gaju. 14 Vespoids. Those do not need their their own quests. Those are both super easy. Should have tangled with it. Whatever. We'll get it the next time. Good to see you. Good luck. Capture a Kulala coup. Yeah. 
Snatch the Snatcher. I mean, these are both super easy. Gotta go snatch a Kulalaku. Reward money is garbage for these, so whatever. Oh, let me see. Yeah, probably one. I don't know why you refuse to get a DS. DS is good. I used my DS a ton until I got a Switch. Now I rarely touch it, but... So what does this game have matchmaking? <clears throat> you can... There's three things. You can either just open a lobby and randos can join it. There is a code that people can enter to join, which is great for stream. So I can basically create a quest and there's just some like code up on the screen that everyone can punch in and join. Um, or you can make it private and invite people from your friends list. So, pretty good. I'm going to have to take a short break after this one to feed the cats, though. The cats are, uh, all three of them are, like, going crazy right now. Weaken the monster. Trap it. Use a tranquilizer to capture it alive. Traps and trank that you'll need with you. You'll find them in your item box or supply box. Next to throw it so it hits the monster's face. The goal of this quest is to capture the monster. You'll fail the quest if you slay it, so be careful. The supplies you need to capture a monster are on site. Make absolutely sure you have trank bombs. That one's a must. You can use the item box to manage your inventory. Got so much stuff. Am I secretly a crazy cat lady? Maybe just a little bit. I mean, it wasn't too bad when we just had the two cats. But ever since Paige got Harley, now that there's three cats running around. It is it is a little a little bit crazy cat lady in my house, I would say. Easy shock, easy trank but get off of that, Jesus. What else did I have? Must have for putting together pitfall oh, okay. That's what I use if I need to craft something new. Got one trap and a couple trank. Oh, what is that thing? I want it. This should actually be pretty easy to pull off, considering I got exhaust files on. Because I'll make this thing tired and have it start running relatively quick. I'm curious. What you got for me? It ain't gonna be that easy to get rid of me. All right, same pattern Puke has.
I probably have no business fucking with this thing. Oh god! I'm on your face! What you gonna do now, Radian? Oh! <laughs> How you like me now, Radian? Oh god. Alright, this thing actually doesn't hurt that bad. Yes, that fire would certainly hurt a lot if it connects. But an emphasis on if it connects. I think it's retreating off the map because it's going straight to that X. I think I can take this thing down. Got your tail. Got your tail. Please don't hit me. Ow. Yammers, distract it. God, no. Oh God, this is the worst place in the world to be out of stamina. Oh, ho, 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 the jukes. A juke too good for you. Come here, boy. Here we go.
I'm taking it down at this point. The scout flies have found something. Go get a closer look. Oh, what? Come on, man. Where was my mount? Oh, there's my mount. Come here. I'm going to get you. Oh, this girl's angry. Oh, Bessie. Stay right there. Oh, stay there. Now, don't be hassling. Just, just take it and go down. Oh, yeah. That's what we wanted to see. Dude, this thing is like, what is happening to me? Please stop. Switch axe, so good. Yeah, you can you can turn off the stuff on the top right, but I find it useful to keep on. Um, mainly because like if you get thrown off, you know, there's times where you can press circle and it'll like toss out the grappling hook. So having that up there, it gives you like a definite indicator of like, oh, I can hook back onto this, or no, I can't. Plus it helps, because people that are watching that are like trying to learn the weapon, they can kind of see what you're doing, or they at least have some idea of what you're trying to do. They can see the moves you have available. Kitties, I'll help you right after I'm done with the dragon, okay? Stop crying for now. What is he doing? Did you stay down here? Oh, wow, that hurt a lot. Oh, God, please don't fire breath me right now. I'm trying to heal, dude. down. Let's go. The reason exhaust seems so good is because you're constantly tiring the monster out. And since you're getting it tired, you're knocking it down. And since you're knocking it down, I'm getting a lot more uptime on very, like, I, right now we're seeing a lot of uh, 
where I just have like full uptime where the monster is on the ground and I am just wailing away at its face while it can't fight back. And that's what makes it seem like Exhaust is doing so much better. It's not that the damage is higher because the damage with power is objectively higher. It's because of the fact that I'm knocking the monster out, so I'm getting more effective time. DPS uptime. Oh, I'm getting the eggs. Don't worry about that. Feels kind of bad. Kill the mama dragon. Steal her eggs. A mean person. Alright, let's see. Uh, how do I get... How do I get to that camp? Is it like right below me? Oh, 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 no, don't, don't be dropping the egg now. You just gotta reach the camp. Oh my god, how did that not break the egg? Dude. Do, 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 do. Hey team, got a baby Raytheon here. Um, now it's usually, you put it in, do I put it in the blue box? Yes. Wevern egg delivered. 250 points. That's like, I think a typical mission, I was getting like 100 some points. So that's a nice chunk. And how are we at on time? We're like 20 minutes into this. I should probably go find the Kukulaku, but I could snatch a couple more eggs while I'm here. I mean, Angry Dragon is gone. And considering I can just jump down to deliver them, this seems like a really good... I mean, this this might be um, potential, like, Wevern egg farm spot right here. Because I don't think you can slide under with the eggs when you're trying to deliver the one from uh, the Rathalos ones. Yes, I killed the Raytheon. There was... My I mean, that's the main reason I didn't want to do, like, a Let's Play with this game, is the more I thought about it, Monster World, by definition, is, like, you know, it's just, it's filled with getting sidetracked. You're constantly like, oh, like, I came here to kill a, a Kukulaku, or to capture one, and now, instead, I was like, oh, look, there's a Raytheon, well, let's see if I can kill it, and killed it, and now I'm like, oh, look, it has a bunch of eggs, and they're worth a bunch of experience, I guess let's go steal some eggs. And I'll probably run into Baroth and be like, oh, here's Baroth, I might as well kill the Baroth. Oh, that's enough. I got I got two. I don't want to sit here all day getting eggs, but now that I know that this this is here, I know I have a uh, good egg hunting mission if I want one. How do you join the giveaway Pez is doing? You should ask Pez. He organized it. Seriously though, that was like a last minute thing. He just put it together. I don't even know the details. He messaged me and he's like, I want to do a giveaway. And I was like, you want to organize it, dude? I'm all about it. But I'm in the middle of uh, hunts and stuff. And I can't really pay attention. You're out stuff. Are you? There's a mining up or where's the mining up? I know I'm gonna feed the cats, but first I gotta capture Kulalaiku. Once Kulalaiku is captured, I'll feed the cats.
Because they've they've gone into like minor food hibernation. They're just all sitting very calmly and they're waiting. And the second I stand up, they're all gonna be like meow, 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 meow. Once I stand up, then that signifies food. So Flies have locked on to the scent of the monster. Be on the lookout for more tracks or traces. Go ahead. Follow the scout flies. Wear down the monster, you say? It's so annoying to fight this thing. Don't kill it, you need to capture it. I understand that, but you can't capture it while it's still perfectly healthy. You gotta beat it down until it gets tired and starts limping, and then you trap it, and then you trank it. The three T's of capture. Tired, trap, and trank. Oh, that stupid fucking rock just saved you from a plunge connection. See, right now, how he's, like, tired and drooling, that's, that's what exhaust is doing. It is asleep. You can't carve materials from the capture monster, monster, but you'll get However, more rewards than you usual. You will receive more rewards than usual once the quest is All right, over. I'm going to go feed the cats real fast while he's down, so I'll be right back in about a minute here. <laughs> <laughs> 